So we've explained getting drunk, and now it's time to talk about getting stoned. So what is the science behind the ganja? All the effects that we know to be associated with getting stoned are caused by THC, which activates the cannabinoid receptors in the brain. Cannabinoid receptors are the part of our brain responsible for processing our moods, appetite, memory, and pain sensations. The amount of cannabis you smoke and the different types, known as strains, affect the duration and the strength of your high. The effects of getting stoned vary from person to person. Your first few tokes will leave you feeling relatively normal. If it was a bong, it'd be a totally different story. Some may bug out on their first time, but the more experienced smokers usually last longer. The mellow stage, aka the buzz, is where everything becomes super chill. Things start slowing down, your reactions become slower, you'll be in a relaxed place feeling the good vibes. The mellow stage lasts anything up to 30 minutes to a few hours. If you carry on smoking, you might start tripping out. Munchies kicking, your heart rate increases, you laugh at absolutely anything. <laughs> and things start slowing down. Smoking on an empty stomach can cause an extreme drop in blood sugar and blood pressure, most likely triggering a whitey. Whiteys, the slang term of feeling faint after taking drugs, can be experienced by some, especially if you've been smoking a lot of weed in a short space of time. You become pale, have blurred or shaky vision, feel faint and may even possibly throw up. Losing consciousness can also happen. THC dilutes blood vessels in your eye, causing you to have a very obvious stoned eye. Weed can cause temporary brain damage too. Any memories while being high are often jumpy and seem like parts of them are missing, because they are. The effects of the not so fun high can last for a few hours. Drinking orange juice can replenish your blood sugar levels or taking a nap can stop you from experiencing a full on whitey. If you're living in a country where weed is legalized, then don't overdo it. If not, then why are you watching this video? Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Remember, it's up to you what complicated subjects we explain using everyday things.